Welcome to our Wednesday devotion. I'm Pastor Tim Gerbing from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Today we listen to the book of James, chapter 3, verse 13. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show up by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. What an excellent question James asks us today. He takes it for granted that believers who read his letter are already wise. If they weren't already wise, why would they bother using a precious time to read his letter? There were more interesting things to read even in that day. They could get caught up on the latest news, be brought up to speed on the current events of the day, be in the know about politics and fashion, world events, money matters, entertainment. James knew that anyone who bothered to read his letter had different priorities. These were people who were concerned about faith, about their relationship to God, about how to live in a godly way with the people they worked with or lived next door to or did business with, how to render loving obedience to a government that was often unfair, immoral, even violently opposed to the Christian faith. You're watching this devotion, I assume, for the very same reasons. But by asking the question, who is wise and understanding among you? James is forcing us to carefully examine our hearts. Is a wisdom that we think we have really from heaven? Or is it influenced by the world, by the devil? Here's how we can tell. James combines wisdom with a quality that can only come from heaven, humility. For a child of God, it's not enough to have wisdom. If wisdom is not combined with humility, even though everything that the believer knows is correct and true, that wisdom is worthless. The Apostle Paul agrees. He wrote that that kind of wisdom is just a resounding gone or a clanging cymbal. It's just a bunch of annoying noise. Knowing biblical facts, being able to quote Bible passages from memory, being certain you're on God's side of things, provides no benefit for God. And that's what Christian living is all about. It's about expressing gratitude and love for our Savior, who humbly gave up his life to save us from death and hell. Saying thank you to God is good, but it's not very meaningful. What is meaningful is proving our thankfulness. How? By humbly living a good life, a life filled with good deeds, humbly submitting ourselves to the needs of our neighbor, whomever that person may be. By bringing the wisdom of Jesus' saving work to the people whom God brings into our lives. Dear Jesus, help us do that. Give us your humility so that our wisdom is pure and peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere, so that we, in turn, might provide a harvest of new believers who are saved by you. Amen.